there were some fun TV shows in the 60s, and four great leading ladies are here with us this morning. First up, the sexy live-in companion to Major Tony Nelson with the ability to grant wishes on I Dream of Jeannie. This is business. Meet thy new secretary. <laughs> Jeannie, I'm going to put my foot down. You are not going to leave this room. I can't have you. We are late, up. master. Ah, and Barbara Eden is with us this morning. Good morning. Good morning. Next, she played Marianne, the girl next door, stuck on a deserted island with six other castaways, including one named Gilligan. Hey! Oh, Gilligan, you're wonderful. And Dawn Wells is with us. Good morning. Good morning. This is so much fun. She battled the evil forces alongside Maxwell Smart in the spy spoof Get Smart. Barbara Feldon played Agent 99. Whew. That was a close one. Yes. Now we've got exactly 10. Well, you're a girl. <laughs> Good morning, Barbara. Good morning. And finally, Uncle Bill and his butler, Mr. French, raised Sissy, played by Kathy Garver and her twin siblings, Buffy and Jody, on Family Affair. When somebody talks about mom or dad, Buffy and Jody react as if it's some stranger they never met. You're the only dad they remember. Wow, and Who's Kathy Garver is with us this morning. Good morning. Good morning. How are you? Who's and us? Ooh, Ooh. Ah. <laughs> so we're alive great. still and feeling good. <laughs> when people see you, they know exactly who you are, yes. right? Still, yes, usually, yes. <laughs> and that's a good thing or a bad thing? That's a very good thing. I'm very happy and pleased with Jeannie. She's easy to live with. She's mm. always there, <laughs> but that's okay. That's okay. And. And how, how is it for you? Do people recognize you? All over the world. Right. Beijing, Solomon Islands, Marianne, Marianne. It's a mm -hmm. fascinating experience, I mm -hmm. think. Mm -hmm. you know? And the bangs give it away. Yes, they do. Oh, man. <laughs> people, people yell out the cab windows, yo, 99. <laughs> <laughs> and what a wonderful show you were on. That was such a sweet little show. You were the older sister, but you were really the mom. Well, in a way, I was. And I tried to take care of them. And our, our uh, producer, Don Federson, I think, was really aiming to make it a classic show. Mm -hmm. So um, that concept really stayed with it as well as the family values. Yeah, all right. Mr. French, Mr. French. <laughs> <laughs> you got it, Dan. <laughs> what, what was it, do you think, that made your show work? I think it took people's minds off their troubles. Mm -hmm. In fact, I'm pretty sure it did yeah. because I was in uh, the airport in San Francisco mm -hmm. and a man came over to me yeah, and uh, said, I want to thank you. I want to thank you because when I get home from work, um, I can I can just relax and I'm in another world. Mm -hmm. And I said, well, thank you, you know. And he said, but you don't know what I do for a living. And I said, no, I don't. He said, I'm a psychiatrist. <laughs> <laughs> and, and he said, I'm here on a on a uh, they, they were on a with a bunch of other guys mm -hmm. at Stanford University. Mm. And he said, and I was the designated person to come over and talk to you, and they're all and they were there. all sitting they over there. They were all waving. <laughs> <laughs> uh, how many times do you get the Ginger or Marianne, right? Yeah. Because everybody who watches Gilligan's Island, men are always asked, are you Ginger or Marianne, <laughs> right? So. That's the first thing they say, however, they'd be saying, they say Marianne's their favorite, but if they were standing next to Ginger, they'd say the same thing. Yeah. <laughs> I don't take it to be egotistical. Yeah. That was, a, especially in re retrospect, kind of the premises of these shows <laughs> were so crazy. Are you really? And really? Thank you very much. <laughs> and thank maybe you very yours much. was the craziest of all. Yes, it was. Right. And they didn't expect us to last more than three weeks, I don't think. Do you, did you have that sense? Oh, yeah. Oh, gosh. How many critics seasons? hated us. How many three, seasons? But 98 episodes. Wow. How about yeah. that? Now, you, on the other hand, had some very smart people behind that show. Yes, she oh, did. Oh, my God. Yeah. Wow. Buck Henry, Mel Brooks. Yeah, yeah. The writing was really sharp. Yeah. Yeah. And how much fun was it to be a part of all of it? It was great fun. Mm -hmm. I, I, there's something really lovely about being on a comedy because you laugh a lot. And yeah. when things go wrong, which they do inevitably, there that makes it even funnier. Yeah. And that show, I have to say, of all of the shows, the one that I did, I, I watched your show because it was just so sweet. It was very nice. It was a kinder, gentler time. And it was so classic. As I said, we just brought out all five seasons of our box set ah. on, you know, November 25th. And it's just because it just... It Indoors. I'm going to go buy a box right now. Thanks.